So this one here is 22,000 square feet. As Laura Galanders drives through Richmond, she points out the sprawling development, but really it's impossible to miss. The big fancy one there that we were talking about. These mega mansions have been built on what's known as ALR, the Agricultural Land Reserve. Richmond has some of the best soil in Canada and it's being used as residential development and for real estate and for profit. Gillander says after BC brought in its foreign buyers tax, there was even more building here because the tax doesn't apply to farmland. In Richmond, a lot of the farmland is right in residential areas, which is why it's so attractive for developers. And this really sums up the issue for so many people. Here you have land that's being used as a pumpkin patch while it's now pressed right up against a new mansion under construction. It was really heartbreaking to watch this amazing agricultural community just slowly get de degraded. Which is why she's grateful the government has ushered in new changes. BC introduced legislation that caps the size of new homes being built on farmland to 5,400 square feet. We uh, have 5% of the land base that's arable for food. And every time you create something like a mega mansion, new and young farmers will never be able to farm that land. Richmond voted to pass a similar bylaw and plans to go even further by restricting the overall residential footprint allowed on these properties. But not all of these houses are being built by investors. A large amount of capital is invested into Richmond, which helps. Bupinder Dimman argues uh, some farmers need to build big homes because many generations help to work the land. This is just adding more bureaucracy on top of laws that uh, bylaws that have already created and it's just uh, you know uh, making a farmer's life more difficult. People can apply to build houses larger than 5400 square feet but they have to demonstrate it's necessary for the operation of the farm. It's really about um, stopping the speculation. It's not about punishing farmers. As for Gillander, she believes the changes strike the right balance. She just wishes the limits were brought in years ago before many of these brand new mansions were built. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Richmond.